Hello again for the third time on this wonderful, wonderful day. Just because I love to create uh, videos and I just want to spout off about wonderful philosophical topics that I just love and I am, uh, I am sucked into. And uh, I just, I love, I, I love, well actually this is the fourth time today I've seen you because I showed you all the books I got. So, oh, by the way, I want to show you one thing before I continue. Um, with the philosophical topic I want to talk about. Um, let's see. Amazon.com, please. Yeah. I'm not going to show you my password. Okay, I just ordered a couple books. I just ordered Nausea by Jean-Paul Sartre. Uh, this is a phenomenological book at that, so that's coming on uh, Thursday. And then I got this also. This is Of Grammatology by Jacques Derrida. Uh, this is coming between January 19th to February 3rd, 2011. So that won't be here for a long ass fucking time because I bought that for cheap from a cheap buyer for, for from a cheap seller so anyway I just thought I would um, let you know a couple more books that I purchased I'll show them to you when they get here well, uh, the nausea book by Jean-Paul Sartre we'll get here earlier that'll get here on Thursday she'll probably show you on one of the videos on Thursday um, anyway I just finished reading a um, writing by Michel Foucault um, I realized his name is pronounced Michel Foucault, not Michel Foucault, because I don't know how to pronounce French. I'm not French. I can I can speak German. I, I I can't speak German. Yeah, I can, so I know how to pronounce everything in German. But I'm not, I can't pronounce French. I don't know what the hell French is, because they're a bunch of frogs. Frogs, not frogs. I didn't. I'm not being racist. I said frogs. Um, anyway. Michel Foucault, he wrote he wrote um, a aesthetic piece called This Is Not a Pipe, um, where it reflects upon a painting by René Magritte called Treachery of Images. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show that to you now. Yeah, you're just looking at the internet with me. Okay. See this painting right here. It says, "Se she ne pas une, se she ne, se she ne pas un pip." I think that's how you pronounce it because I listened to a pronunciation clip. Um, <clears throat> basically, we look at this and you think. That this that that, that says she ne, ne pause and pip says this is not a pipe. So when you see this, pretend it's it's in English and said and it says this is not a pipe. And you'll see this and you say, What do you mean this isn't a pipe? What else can that can that be? What else can that be? How can it not be a pipe? I don't understand. How can it not be a pipe? So then if it's not a pipe, what the fuck is it? That's, and I get sucked into this painting, just, I mean, because it's, I mean, when you read Michel Foucault's uh, This Is Not A Pipe, it really uh, lays out to you what it is. So, let's go into something here. I'm just going to explain something. Foucault discusses This Is Not A Pipe, the, the treachery of images painting by... Magritte as a calligram. 
a caligram is a uh, a caligram is a writing. It's a writing. It's a phrase, word, or um, it's a phrase, word, or sentence, or something like that. A set of words or words that is written and formed in the shape of something. It and the the shape that the words make correspond to what the to what the words or, or the word says. So we have Seshi ne Um we need to basically reflect on the pipe word there, starting with the P. That is the caligram part of it. So we have three perturbations or um, issues here, or um, three interpretations of what Magritte or what the painting could mean. Um, there is a clear definition of what of what Magritte's point is, but. Foucault includes a few illustrations in his book, in his writing, This Is Not a Pipe, and basically we'll look at this, um, <clears throat> this, we have, well, let's just, let's just envision the, the words, this is not a pipe, like that, is, let's keep thinking of it as this is not a pipe, so we have this, the, this, meaning the drawing, whose form you doubtless recognize and whose calligraphic characters I've just traced. So this being, so when you have this, it's referring to the picture of the pipe. So this is referring to the picture of the pipe. That is not meaning, meaning is not substantially bound to, is not constituted by, and does not cover the same material as a pipe. That is this word from your language made up of pronounceable sounds that translatable letters you are reading therefore this is not a pipe can be read thus so basically this is not the words a pipe so in one way of viewing it the words this is not a pipe this is not a pipe so basically, this picture is not the word pipe. That's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it, this, meaning a statement arranging itself beneath your eyes in a line of discontin discontinuous elements, which this is both the signifier and the first word, is not, meaning could neither equal to nor substitute for, and could not adequately represent a pipe, one of the objects whose possible wandering can be seen above the text, interchangeable, anonymous, it's just accessible in the name. So, in the second case, this means this line of words. This, this calligraphic phrase. Um, so, the, the, calligraphic, the calligraphic phrase is not um, the picture of the pipe. So, this is not this, is basically what is being said. And then the other way of viewing it is this, meaning this whole, um, this whole painting is not, or um, this meaning the the ensemble constituted by written pipe and a drug text is not is not is not is not compatible with a pipe, the mixed element springing at once from the discourse and the image, whose ambiguous being the verbal and visual play of the calligram wants to evoke. So this is not either this or this. Or the ambiguity between this and this, since these are calligraphic with each other. So. Um, this is just a discussion of Foucault's understanding of what Magritte said of what Magritte's meaning could have been or what this of what this painting can be viewed as. Now, why this has its aesthetic value is because what the hell does this is not a pipe mean when there's a pipe right above it? 
But my greatest point is that Magritte is trying to say that this is a picture or a representation of a pipe. This is not a pipe because then he 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 poses the question: If this if this is a pipe, can I feel it? And then if he were to say this is a pipe and I can feel it, he would be lying because this is not a pipe. So that's the basic understanding. But then because of the cal because of the, the calograms that lie within this and other um, and other perturbations we have for the ambiguities that lie within the calligraphic thing and because of these things this painting has aesthetic value so anyway I'm going a long time so I'll see you guys later